there's our alt key again. Oh, Dagobert also has. Yeah, but I think I can't. I can't. Um, oh, I can sell him stuff, and he also he also carries fertilizer. That's very very practical. Um, convenient. I did not know that. This is getting way too slow, but we only need three more logs. Then we can be off running back home. And on the way back home, there is this river that we can pass. To get some water. So the thing, the, the, the uh, tutorial message said that when we run out of food or water we won't die immediately but we will lose constantly lose health okay so now let's get back to him oh wrong one I can't. Yeah. Ah, no, it works. Okay. I just, uh, real quick, needed to return the quest because I accidentally gave into the urge of running again and I figured out how to circumvent the problem that I can't click. I just need to select an item in the menu that pops up. Okay, I would forfeit the three wooden spears over here. Mm. Seven sticks don't help me. I want to buy five of these, thank you very much. And now I need 11 more ah, 11 more money. 11 more monies. And sadly, those are especially for what I can only buy in this town here, this village um, map. The flux seeds. That's the wrong exit of town. I knew it. I'm going to real quick head over to the water stream and drink something. That's more important than eating right now. Oh, and I, I just saved. I just saved. And the spear. Broke. I just saved. And sold the spears. Just. Just our luck. But I do desperately need the water right now, so I need to head over to the water stream and then hoping that we won't get attacked by a boar because we don't have any weapons anymore. We just sold the spears. Drink, yes. Now we're talking and let's head back. So we need to find two more stones oh, some more stones so we can build knives and uh, with the knives yeah of course we don't have any spears right now now that the rabbit would have been in perfect hunting position when my mouse goes there this is the um, language menu because I pressed shift oh, we still have the knives so we just need to sell them perfect 
This means we can get the flex seeds. Hello there, dear. We can get the flex seeds and get a little field going, which will get us money later. first gives me stuff. I'm going to real quick skip that. So basically she gave me something very tasty and refused to tell me the recipe. Uh, let's now get first sell those knives. Perfect. Get nine flex seeds and we flex grains and we still have lots of other stuff. So let's go and ask Dagobert. By the way, Dagobert is um, in the German um, DuckTales. It's Scrooge McDuck. So show me your wares. Mm, let us see. Beetroot can be planted in spring and collected in autumn. That would be planting now, collecting two months later. Cabbage. Planted in spring, collected in summer, planted in summer, collected in autumn. Hmm. And we still need the bag. No. Um, to be honest, I'm going to go for more money. And just don't make a three by three, but a three by four flex field, which is collected in the n in, in in summer. Also, it's like Lita, Lugarda, Matilda. There we go. And now we can not open the inventory by this button. Now we can eat. Not with E, but with F. There we go. My concentration is going down. This means I need to call it a day soon. I will be playing for a little while. At least get back home and get the fields going. thing that I will do is this. I need my my weapons again. Oh no. Can I outrun it? Seems like it. just me dismissing the keyboard selection screen again. Also hope is that tomorrow we will... I think I know now know what where the um, where the inventory space had gone to all the, to the 70 knives that we were carrying around all the time. That's a bore. Let's run away. I am pretty sure that the uh, NPCs won't help me here. Okay, crafting spears. One. Three. Yep, the NPCs don't help me. Now I need to. Uh, that's that's. I'm used to pressing tab to open the inventory, and it just 
doesn't work anymore because when I press tab, it'll do the old tab thing in Windows. Now you're running away. There we go. That's what you get for attacking me. And we get some leather and meat. So there we go. Also, we have um, collected some of these, so we can heal ourselves. But I try not the, to use them too much because I tend to not see them on the ground. Okay, let's head over. To the stream. Walking along the way. And then take a sip from the stream and then head home. Take a little catnap after we roasted some more meat and then prepare the field. And then I think I will stop playing for today. Also, because the game is the, the glitch with the alt, uh, constantly pressed alt key is starting to annoy me. And cross your fingers that the keyboard will be fully functional tomorrow again. I might be doing a second stream tomorrow then. Because I'm completely dissatisfied with how this went today. With the keyboard taking a shower. And if it doesn't work, cross your fingers that I will get that one offered for rather cheap. Let's just fetch the rabbit from here, light the campfire and roast some meat. That's, that's why I was thinking whether I should stream this or just record it, because this can take a while. This is now 13 times 3 seconds, and later it can take even longer. When we're doing the spoons, it'll be something like 100 times 6 seconds or something, or 100 times 3 seconds, even that is 5 minutes, so you might then want to grab something go grab something to drink, make a bread or something like that when we do that, because that's what I'll be doing also. For those on YouTube, of course, I will cut this out now. I'm wondering where to put the fields, I think. As you can remove them, I think I'm just going to put the first one right here. So, building, farming, field on a 3x4. Three 3x4. Three four. Yes, thank you. I have read this already, it explains me how it works. Oh, I completely forgot to read the story to you, right? I think I settled in nicely. Life's good around here. The soil is rich and fertile. Maybe it's time to go to Unighost and talk about my future here. Perhaps he is, has so him work for me. This hunter is not a very polite man and clearly dislikes Unighost. In any case, we managed to find out where these wolves are. It's time to go back to Unighost. I hope he'll know what to do about it. 
that's what we already did, right? Just as I thought. Unigos does not lose his head and knows how to take care of his people. I will now take this information to Dagobert of Denica so they can protect themselves from the wolves. I guess it's better to take the road than take shortcuts through the forest. I don't want to run into those hungry beasts. We already did that too. Fortunately, I spoke to Dagobert reasonably. Another difficult character, but I will help him and the rest of Denica's inhabitants. I have to do a lot of cutting down trees and carrying logs. Nobody said life is simple. The sooner I start, the sooner I will be done. And we're already done. Phew, I'm finally done. Time to get my reward from his wife Matilda. Good food will always come in handy. Well, I did what I had to. It's time to go back to Unigos and give him the good news. But first we're doing the field. And then it just repeats the same thing. Very good. Okay, we now have the field. Now we need a hoe. And we get that hoe by crafting it here. Very good. Now I can assign it in the inventory. Let it use. use. That, wasn't, that wasn't good. Let us use this slot. Exit the inventory without pressing escape and select it here. We first need to turn this into a field. Oh, come on. That happens when you try to save some time. There we go. Now we need a bag of fertilizer, and for that we need a, actually a bag. And since we are rather short on money, we're going to do something else. We're going to build another building. Building. Crafting. This one, the workshop, which uses eight logs. I don't think that I will get a single tree out of that. Let's try on that one. Ooh. We'll get the branches. So we just need two more stones. Stone, stone. Where is a stone? Two, actually. That's good. So we need these for the building. And we need two stones for another axe. Those are the feathers that fell out of the tree. Hey, stones, come out, come out, wherever you are. There, I don't know the exact melody. One stone, two stone, craft, X. There we go. And since we need all of the logs at once, that's this again was me. You, you, you're not seeing the language menu all the time when, when I try to run. So now the, the X broke, but we have a second one. This will make us very slow, but we have the eight logs required to build a workshop. And why are we building a workshop? And, and this, this thing happening again, this is the alt key pressing itself. But it does react actually slowly. So when I, when I press it, it gets unpressed and stuff like that. So it might actually be drying out. Which is good. Okay. This is one way to turn off this mode. 
Um, Q. Building. Crafting. Workshop. And I built the way, the pathway here, so I'm going to build the workshop over here and right next, right next to our house. But since it, well, let me. Uh, since it will create a um, a window, and I can't choose, I can't edit the walls of the workshop. I can edit w walls of this house, but not of the workshop for some reason. I don't know if they did not add that in or or uh, why that is. I have a hammer in reserve. Perfect. Okay, now so let's see. Sticks. And there we can go getting wood again. And yes, I'm doing this for the spoon trick, so we can buy ourselves a bag. One second, I just want to check. Oh, I can actually craft the simple bag myself. Well, then we're going to still complete the workshop. Oh, the log falls down. Complete the workshop and complete the fields. That's my agenda for today. Because also my recording time is limited, I have to work tomorrow and my roommate is going to arrive from work also at some point in time, which is not too far away. As you can see, using the hammer also takes stamina. And I'm missing a few sticks. I can also already add in the straw. And one lock here. One lock there. One over there. And I need still need locks, so I can go back into the woods. Logging also give me, gives me sticks, so this is okay. Sticks and logs. One, two, three. And heading back our building and there is the last log I'm going to put the other ones into our nice chest FEF which is the put into chest combination or the uh, transfer everything basically And again, it should be 32 reeds. Or straw, that is. Later we can get straw from the fields. But now we have to collect the reeds. Well, this is also not bad. Super slow. There we go. And I actually now have 
rather high hopes that the keyboard will be in perfect working order tomorrow again. I'm not going to build the resource storage due to the building limit. Later the building limit will get higher. So over here using um, this thing we can then build the wooden spoons and the wooden ladles which we have to buy for 50 gold coins and over here is our field nope. the simple bag let's first have a little bite to eat let's try the soup that we got and some of the roasted meat that we made also the things de degrade the food doesn't uh, is, is not good for all, uh, always so we need to take care of that too oh i for also forgot we need to put the simple bag in one of our slots and now we can access it either with a button key and it's automatically select the fertilizer so we're now going to put the fertilizer on all the 12 fields there we go there we go so this game takes more lightly to be recording than Morrowind even OpenMW does not like me recording on the same computer that I'm playing with now we select the flux. No, first we need the hoe. That was middle click. We can now build the food storage, which is also needed. So if we get people, they can actually access the food that we have. We don't need that for now. Although in the food storage, we can build. Um, we can also craft things in there for us to understand. So these are always also crafting um, crafting buildings. Okay, so now let us bring out the seeds onto the field. field so that, what I want to do nope what I want to do is first of all skills extraction knowledge you want to have the skill points faster so what we got is the resource storage with that we can build shovels okay we have got the food storage where we can build nothing but we want the barn and we're nearly there we want the barn because in there we can thresh the flax get the flax grain out of it and we will get a lot of that and we will get the um, I don't know how you call them the the stalks of the flax and those we can turn into um, I think it's this is a different building the sewing one building is, is what we then need we can then make linen thread out of that and can then as you can see 10 flax stalks gives one linen thread which is worth 50 and then we can even make that even more worthy with 80 one linen thread 10 10 flex equals 80 gold and then we can here build first of all things for us saddles backpacks stuff like that but also we can just sell it and make money and then buy some food in the beginning and in summer so this this is reapable in summer in summer we will sow something else something for food which we then use as i said for food we will see what we get then okay so much for that 
uh, what's our money? 75. So basically, we first want the money maker recipe. There we go. I'm going to real quick show that to you. So we have our sticks. And it's four seconds per stick. Now it's not that much, it's only four more, so we have five wooden ladles. And so one that we already did and four that we're doing now. And those will be come on, inventory. Those will be sold at three apiece, which makes fifteen. So we basically now have something that generates money by just just to show you how quickly we can get that that's in Jonesworth but it's also good uh, there it is two sticks five so 15 gold eight times three something 24 or something 33 um, something, as I said, I'm not, I'm good at counting, but not good at maths. And now we can just go ahead and make, and now it's 14 times three seconds. And that's the part. If we do this in, in bigger quantities, the part when I say, I'll go and leave the computer, and you should do so too. But right now I'm going to talk, talk over it, and I'm even not going to skip this or, or speed this up in the YouTube episodes. But later on I'm going to speed this up in the YouTube episodes. And remember, the Twitch streams will be recorded, so you can also watch them later, and then you can just skip these parts. I don't blame you. It's really boring, so... And the last one is done. Okay, now let's... And now we can build the sewing, sewing. I always mix up how this is pronounced. Let's, let's real quick have a little sip out of the river. And then run over to Unigo's to hand back the quest. And then it's half past... 10 or then it will be half past 10 which was the time that I originally planned to end streaming anyhow and for those who know me for those who, who have me in, in the private chat I won't be heading straight to bed then because I'm a bit, still a bit fired up, but I'm still going to stop um, streaming. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning, and I'll be still there, reachable in chat. So if you want to ping me, just do so. No, not this stream chat, though, so... That's the town, village, whatever, where Unigos lives. And next time, I promise, I will get a straw. We have these fine metal straws, which also, for some reason, I drink more when I when I drink out of a straw. So um, I'm going to put one of these into the cup. And usually then I don't choke on the water. I don't try to inhale the water. This only works in the movie The Abyss. Which is an awesome movie, in my opinion. They're... How did it go in, in Denica? They're prepared and safe now. A simple wooden palisade, I assume. Yep, and I think Dagobert is a man who's not afraid of wolves. And now we can just... Hey, hey, Unighost, show me wares. So he also sells flax sells a scythe but we don't need the scythe and in the first thing I, I actually bought the water skin and never used it 
I'm going to sell the ladles. All of them. And that's that. Because... Oh, that's not here. It is... I. It is in the technology tab. This, the stone sickle. This is what we want to build. We can use the stone sickle just like the scythe. The game will tell us you need the scythe, but you can also use the stone sickle. It only has a very low radius, basically, that you use it, but it works and you only need sticks and stones for it. And then you can harvest the stuff without being able to build a full-fledged um, scythe which comes down here in smithy 3 where we need 5000 points in crafting which is not that hard to get now that we have the ladle thing because if we do 200 300 ladles honestly we will get these points full very very quickly especially since i'm doing these knowledge things here first so we get the skill points and everything everything works faster so that's it for now and um, let me do, drop a quick save and this is the barn one this is what i meant what we need to do with the flex to get the things to make linen thread later when we built the sewing sewing kind of weird to to, to call it sewing but i think it is well, it, it's that word is confusing me all the time. Um, so that's something we need to do. <laughs> there I am, um, yawning, gets, getting tired. As I said, it's half past nine. I need to get up tomorrow at seven, which means my bedtime is at ten. And one thing, so this, this, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to do this. I'm, I'm not good at hunting rabbits. I just don't see them early enough. This is wait for the next season. This is wait for the next season. This, this is wait for whenever. So I'm just going to, I'm going to activate this quest. So we see, uh, see that. But basically what, what I want to do is get 100 coins so we can make the sickle, build a sickle. So next season we can reap the I can't just can't press escape we can reap the seeds that we've sown right yeah right Olga don't look so sad it looks like she's crying in my opinion just without the tears 